This is Darren Maralia, CTO and founder of SDM Software, the group policy experts. In this quick video, I want to show you how you can use the Group Policy Compliance Manager to find out if key security settings delivered by Group Policy are actually making it to your systems, and if so, which systems have those settings. So in this first example, what I've done is I've gone ahead and collected data about Group Policy processing from machines in my domain, and I'm going to come here at the domain level, and I'm going to go ahead and do a search and I'm going to actually search for a group policy setting. And in this example, what I'm going to do is search for the audit logon policy. This is a advanced audit configuration policy that enables audit auditing for logons. And I want to go ahead and see what machines in the domain have gotten this setting. So I'm going to go ahead and do the search of the data that I've collected across my machines. And what comes back is that two machines have actually gotten this setting. My, one of my DCs in the Domain Controllers OU and this machine called Win764 in this OU. So I can go ahead and look at the collections that I've performed on this machine and in this case I'm going to look at the most recent collection and if I go down the list in the settings that have been delivered you'll see that the result has been highlighted, the result that I'm interested in. Audit Logon has been enabled for success and failure on this machine from the default domain policy. Now if I come back up here to this other DC you'll notice I have a failed audit collection. That means that during the last processing cycle this DC encountered a group policy processing failure and I can see the details of that there and it shows me that several GPOs were calling a uh, extension even if there were no changes in the framework but more interestingly, I want to see this setting down here and see what it's set at. And you'll see here that the DC is getting success and failure, and it's getting it from the default domain controller's policy. So two different policies delivering this setting to two different machines, but I'm able to see across the domain that only these two machines have gotten that setting. Now that may or may not be a good thing, depending on what I'm trying to accomplish with that setting. I'm going to do another search just to kind of underscore this capability. So again, the Group Policy Compliance Manager has collected data about GP processing, including the settings that have been delivered across these machines in my domain. Now I'm going to go ahead and search on minimum password age, and I want to find out what the minimum password age is, has been set to across all the machines in my domain, and which machines have actually received that setting. So now it's going out across the domain, and again, it returns a list of machines, in this case, seven different computers. And I can click into a given computer, look at the collection, and see on this computer, it, re it received a minimum password age setting of two from the default domain policy. If I come up to some of these other machines, I can look at them and see, again, value of two, value of two, value of 2, value of 2, and if I click down on this one, what you'll notice is this machine is actually getting a different setting delivered to it. Minimum password age setting is now set to 30, and it's being delivered by this RSOP test GPO that's specific to this machine's location in the AD. So now I've been able to see that, hey, there's actually one machine that's not getting a consistent minimum password age set on it, and I can go in and investigate that further. So this kind of just underscores some of the capabilities of the Group Policy Compliance Manager in terms of determining what settings have been received by your systems and what the values for those settings are. And there's a lot more capabilities in the product, so I encourage you to download it at our website download a trial version at our website and give it a spin and see how it might help you in getting a grip on what group policy is actually doing in your environment. Thanks very much for listening.